what makes soil impure what makes soil contaminated or polluted causes of soil pollution the first harmful substance that causes um, soil pollution is chemical agricultural chemicals agri cultural chemicals agricultural chemicals agricultural chemicals uh, such as insecticides pesticides herbicides and artificial fertilizers can cause soil pollution can cause soil pollution i've mentioned chemical uh, substances uh, such as uh, insecticides let me just write agricultural chemicals such as insect insecticides pesticides agricultural chemicals such as insecticides uh, pesticides i mentioned herbicides artificial fertilizers artificial uh, fertilizers these are some of the agricultural chemicals that can cause uh, soil pollution now learners these chemicals contain harmful substances which stay in the soil for some time and then interfere with proper growth of plants they can also cause a death of small organisms that live in the soil we all know the importance of such organisms they help in in uh, breaking the soil and um, making the soil uh, nutritious so they can cause death of small organisms that live in the soil so learners excessive use of agricultural chemicals leads to soil pollution these are agricultural chemicals so farmers are, ought to be educated on uh, how to use these agricultural chemicals and if possible avoid using the uh, agricultural chemicals but instead farmers should use biological uh, chemicals now that's the first uh, cause of soil uh, pollution then we have domestic waste the second point domestic waste domestic waste domestic waste materials like uh, broken glasses uh, metallic cans uh, polythene uh, papers and used plastic bottles can pollute soil if dumped improperly if these domestic waste materials are not dumped properly then they can lead to soil pollution because these materials do not decompose the materials i've mentioned do not decompose and uh, these materials i've said are plastic plastic um, plastic uh, papers we have plastic bottles plastic bottles plastic uh, bottles metallic cans metallic cans plastic bottles metallic uh, metallic cans uh, polythene papers polythene papers
and such domestic uh, uh, waste do not decompose. And if these uh, domestic waste materials are not properly um, disposed or dumped, they can lead to soil pollution. The reason being that they do not decompose and may remain in the soil for a long period of time. That is a second point. Then industrial waste, industrial waste, industrial waste, metallic should have a double L learners. This is metallic should have double L. Number three, industrial waste. Industrial waste. Industrial waste. This is waste from industries, from factories, and manufacturing plants. And industrial waste learners is produced by industrial activity. This waste can be in form of um, solid gas or liquid. It can be in gaseous state, it can be in solid state or in liquid state. Now again, just like uh, domestic waste, if industrial waste is not properly disposed, okay, improper disposal of solid industrial waste such as uh, plastic remains or metal remains or glass remains or remains of rubber materials can cause soil pollution. Learners in the process of manufacturing or in industri industry, industrial activity, there could be remains of rubber, remains of, of, uh, of plastic, metal remains, and so on. If you have such remains and the remains are not properly dumped or disposed, then that can lead to soil pollution can lead to soil pollution. So uh, industrial waste gases, another point we need to not learn us is that uh, the, the metallic, the metallic, the metallic industrial waste and the rubber remains and uh, the, 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 the plastic remains and the glass remains, those are in solid form. Those are solid those are, those are waste that are in solid form. But we may also have industrial waste that is in gaseous form. So industrial waste gases such as carbon dioxide and uh, uh, sulfur dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide can dissolve in rainwater to form what we learned in standard seven, uh, what we learned, we say that when, when, when sulfur, when sulfur uh, dioxide and carbon dioxide are emitted in the atmosphere and rains descends, when rain descends, the Gases, these gases, carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, they dissolve in the, in the uh, rainwater, forming what we call acid rain. Forming acid rain. And acid rain makes soil acidic. If acid rain makes soil acidic, then we say that soil is polluted. So acidic rain pollutes the soil. So learners, industrial waste, I'm repeating, can either be in form of uh, solids or it can be in form of gases. I've mentioned two gases, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide. Uh, when sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide mix with rainwater, 
they form acid, acid rain. And when acid rain uh, drops into the soil, that acidic uh, rain pollutes the soil. So industrial waste is a soil pollutant. It's a soil contaminant. Okay? That is industrial waste. Then we have oil spills. Oil spills. Number four. Oil spills. This is spillage of oil. How does it occur? This may occur when ships um, uh, engage in accidents in the seas because we know ships carry huge amounts of oil. When there is accident involving ships that carry huge amounts of oil, then that oil will spill in the ocean or in the seas. That is oil spillage. Oil spillage uh, can also take place on land. When trucks carrying land um, get engaged in accidents, then the oil may also spill on the ground. So oil can spill on soil as a result of accidents involving oil tankers or, or leakages of pipes that are used to transport oil. And th that leads to oil, that leads to soil pollution. It leads to soil pollution. So oil can be, uh, can, can, can spill on soil learners, I've said, Oil can spill on land as a result of accidents. Let me write. Oil can spill on land as a result of accidents involving oil tankers involving oil tankers when the accidents involves the the ships then or the ships then uh, will have water pollution but when the oil involves tankers then that oil will spill on land it will spill on land and uh, cause land pollution or soil pollution uh, we can also this can also occur on land when the pipes that are used to trans transfer or transport uh, oil leak. Okay, when there's leakage in in uh, in uh, pipes that are used to transport oil, then that oil spills on soil, thereby causing land pollution. Causing land pollution. Number five. The fifth cause of soil pollution is mining activities. Mining activities. Mining activities. Now, learners, mining activities destroy soil structure. When, when people mine, when human beings mine, then they're interfering with the soil structure. It interferes with soil structure, making it loose. Making it loose. So we can write mining activities interfere with soil structure, making it loose. Mining activities interfere with soil structure, making it loose, making it loose. It interferes, you can also say it Mining activities destroys, okay, destroys the soil. This 
exposes the soil to agents of erosion. When the soil is loose, then that soil is exposed to agents of erosion, such as wind, water, and so on. So when you mine, you are breaking the soil. You are breaking the structure. You are making it loose. When you make it loose, then it's very easy for the wind to, uh, to sweep the soil, to erode the soil, to cause soil erosion. It's also easy for the water to move the soil. Okay, these activities also leave excess minerals <coughs> other than uh, causing um, soil to be loose, they leave excess minerals. They leave excess uh, minerals on top of the soil. When minerals are taken down from the ground, are mined from the ground, then the, so, uh, the, the miners may leave the minerals on top of the soil, leading to soil pollution. Because it's dangerous for minerals to be on top of the soil. It is important to know that excess minerals in the soil are harmful to plants. Plants do not require excess minerals. So when minerals are dug from the ground and they are left on top of the soil, that interferes with the soil, that contaminates the soil, that pollutes the soil. So these are five effects or causes, five causes of, of soil pollution. And we'll stop at that, learners. That will mark the end of our today's lesson where we introduced the subtopic, the topic environment. In our today's lesson, we have defined soil pollution. We've said that soil pollution is the introduction of harmful substances into the soil. These uh, harmful substances we said are also known as soil pollutants or soil contaminants. And we said soil pollution is also known as land pollution. Then we have discussed five causes of soil pollution. Number one, agricultural chemicals. These are soil contaminants. Agricultural chemicals pollute the soil. Domestic waste pollutes the soil. Industrial waste, these are waste uh, due to industrial activities. This is a soil pollutant. Oil spills, these are also causes of land pollution. Then lastly, mining activities. Mm -hmm.